Hey there folks, Peter here with BlackRock Business. I am so glad you showed up at the channel today, especially for this video, because this is stuff that you might want to know about QuickBooks Point of Sale. Namely, today we are going to cover the topic of returning merchandise to your vendor. I'm not sure if you're returning this merchandise because it was something you didn't order or something that there's a defect with, or maybe your um, vendor allows you to return like leftover merchandise or something like that. Not really sure what you got going on with your vendor. It's all different in every different sector and industry, uh, but we're gonna get into the proper way to send stuff back to your vendor for credit. All right, before we jump into that, don't forget to click on the link down below in the description so you can get on over to our QuickBooks Point of Sale Facebook group we got a lot of great members over there, a great dialogue and conversation in a community format. You can bring up errors, problems, questions, things you don't know, request a video for this channel, what have you. People such as myself and others in the community will respond back to you. So click that link and join up. All right, if you're on YouTube, don't forget to hit subscribe today so you get all the latest, greatest QuickBooks point of sale videos and news on this channel all the time. Thank you very much. Okay, let's get into this. So I'm gonna go to my receiving history because if we are returning uh, merchandise to a vendor, then of course we're going to want to uh, find the original place where we received it. So uh, let's see here. Okay, <laughs> I'm just looking at what we got. Apparently uh, a few days ago we received three snow blowers. Not exactly the topic I was thinking we were covering for this for this video. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm just cracking up here. All right, apparently one of these snowblowers was not the best or something like that, or it's something we're not gonna sell, it's something we don't need, maybe it's defective, I don't know, something like that. So, we're gonna choose the uh, receiving voucher here, and then over on the left-hand side, you're actually gonna hit return to vendor. And we're not returning everything, so we're gonna remove the ones that we are not returning. Let's see here, I'm gonna remove that one, I'm gonna remove that one. We're just returning one snowblower to our vendor. And the reason that we're doing it in point of sale is because what's actually gonna happen here is in QuickBooks accounting, as long as you have the two hooked up, under this vendor, you are gonna end up with a credit and so in this case, we are gonna have a credit under the electronics vendor, which is misspelled, sorry. Uh, we're gonna have a credit in QuickBooks accounting for $500. Now, there's two ways that can be handled. Your vendor may actually be giving you credit on your account with the vendor. So if you make another order from them, you can use that credit and then Everything will make sense in QuickBooks Accounting because on your next bill from them, you can just apply the credit that this is going to create. Or that vendor may choose to like send you a check in the mail, in which case you can reconcile that check with that vendor and cancel out the credit as you deposit it into your bank account in QuickBooks Accounting. So that's a little behind the scenes info on why you would be returning stuff through the vendor here instead of just like, hey, sending it out to them in the mail and uh, or shipping it to them, the return, and not doing anything in point of sale. This is the correct way of doing it. You should do it this way. So here we go. We are doing the return voucher on one snowblower. That's pretty much it. You just put what you're sending back to the vendor on here. And yeah, you can hit save down here. And there you have it. Now, if I look in my receiving history, <clears throat> let me shorten this here. All right, now we are going to see a regular receiving voucher, except it's in the negative and it says negative 500 and it says negative total quantity negative one. So you can see that this is a returned snowblower and now you've done it correctly. You've sent something back to your vendor. Thanks for coming on this journey with me in the world of QuickBooks Point of Sale. My name is Peter with BlackRock Business, and I am so happy you're here. I hope you have an excellent day the rest of your day. Bye.